All right, guys, so real quick here, we're going to unbox the London Sunshine Grill that was sent to me. It's a ceramic grill. It's the 13-inch version of it. So I just want to do a quick unboxing. I couldn't have the audio because the TV was on and I get copyright, but yeah, wasn't too hard to put together, probably 10 minutes max. It's all set up. Just gotta let it burn now. Get the oils and everything out of there. Mainly off just the rack. And uh, yeah. Looking good. See when it's time to cook. Can you guys believe just three days ago we had 15 inches of snow? That's uh, Pennsylvania for ya. But birds are out. They're having fun eating. But that was all snow. This entire field was snow. It's crazy. Well, this is the weight loss update. Uh, I think it's day like 58 or something like that. Some, something like that. Since December 5th, I have been on this diet. Today is January. Today's January 25th. So, since the 5th of December, I've been on the diet. Uh, our 30 day diet, or no, was it first week? Whatever update I did on the diet. Um, I was at, I believe, 294 or something like that. Um, and today, I weigh 274 to 270. I'm going between 270 to 274. And sometimes 275 is 276. Um, but I have been losing still. Um, so, first of all, I wanted to get to the grill here. London Sunshine decided to send me a Kamado grill. Um, I got it here the London Sunshine Kamado Barbecue. So, I already set it up. I'm pretty sure I put some footage of when I took it out of the box. But, uh, this is the 13 inch version. It is smaller, but like for me it's perfect. They seen my last video, the last diet update I did, and they wanted to send me one of these to use in the next one. So, here we are. We're gonna cook chicken, uh, pork chop, and a steak. Um, it is a little heavy, even though it is this small, it's 47 pounds. But usually if something, the heavier something is, the better it is, honestly. Um, and this thing, I can tell it's high quality. Even though it's smaller, this thing's very high quality. I have the uh, temperature probes heating up in there so they uh, were sanitized. But yeah, London Sunshine decided to send me it. This thing's awesome. Um, I, I messed up and I bought self-lighting charcoal. Then I put self-lighting charcoal in here. But it's... Uh, you know, it smells like lighter fluid. It's kind of burnt off now, so it's not such a big deal. So as we go through the video here, I'm going to be cooking on this grill. So, whew, it's hot in here, <laughs> by the way. So we're going to start with the steak here. But, uh, moving you guys a little closer here. You don't need to see me the whole time, do you? Um, so, uh, things that I've changed in the diet. Um, I have added some keto things, not much, but I have. Um, I went for about 40 or so days on just carnivore, and I felt I was lacking in a few things. Um, I just, I felt I was lacking. So, what I've added, um, I've added quite a bit of broccoli, not a lot, but like every other night I'll have broccoli. Steak is on. Um, I've also, I've added some lemon, some lime, things like that. Uh, uh, things I've noticed with myself, um, I do have high blood pressure now. I didn't have it before. There's, there's something serious going on now in family that's been stressing me out. Um, I don't know if it's that. You know, I really don't know. Um, it probably is. And other things, and uh, another thing is, what I didn't think would happen was I'm kind of like I don't want to eat sometimes. Like uh, <clears throat> I'm hungry, like my body needs food, but when I go to eat, it just grosses me out, and I won't eat. So one thing I, I stopped eating was chicken thighs. I've stopped eating ground beef. Um, I just can't eat them. There's something about them now I can't eat. Them. It grosses me out. So. 
even steaks are kind of odd with me. Like, I don't really care if I have a steak. The one, the couple of things I've stayed really liking has been, um, uh, pork chops, chicken breast, and something else, something else meat. But, uh, I do want to emphasize, I'm not strict carnivore now. Um, I've swapped to, I guess they call it ketovore, or, uh, something along the lines of that. And, uh, so it's, it's kind of been back and forth on things on what I enjoy. But the main thing is, I'm starting to feel the weight loss. Um, this is a 3X Carhartt. It's way too big. They, I mean, they've always been a little big on me. At one point, they were tight almost. Um, I'll shut this for a second. I gotta be careful, I don't wanna burn it. I've never used a grill like this. So, um, yeah, I'm starting to feel the weight loss. Uh, I've lost like 30 some pounds now. 34, five, some, I don't know, something like that. Maybe even less than 35. But uh, I'm starting to notice now. When you're so big, it takes a while for you to notice, to really notice different things when you start to lose weight. And uh, I have noticed that now, just around this time. So I'm pretty happy uh, where we've got. It's not where I want to be. I want to be to like 230, 240 somewhere around that but I want to have a lot of muscle at the time so yeah it's uh it's definitely something to get used to it's a sucky diet it does suck I know some people can handle it without a problem but personally me it does suck but see this right here I've added seasonings too that's another thing so let's get over the things real quick I've added um, I've added some lime uh, oh, cheese. I've added cheese. I don't drink milk. Milk's pretty high in carbs. Um, but cheese, broccoli, lemon lime, and as far as cheats go, there's been a few days. Um, I got KFC one night at my friend's, but I took all the skin off of it and just ate the chicken part on the inside. I'm sure I still had some oil from that. Oil's not good. Um, but it wasn't really oily, so that's good. I'm not going to stab this thing at all. You guys will probably get mad at me. Um, but yeah, just just a few things I've changed. There hasn't been much, but I was lacking in energy. I'm still lacking in energy. Like, I get lightheaded and stuff now, which, it's not the diet's fault, I don't think. I just, I'm not eating enough food. I know today I'm cooking a few things, but I just, I don't eat a lot now. But uh, yeah, I mean, for the most part, it's it's going pretty good. So, I'm trying to keep this video a little shorter. Um, we're going to cook this steak up. And what I did here was another thing, like I said, seasonings. Uh, Jack's Grandma, I know you're watching. Uh, this is that Texas Originals steak seasoning from HEB. When I was down in Texas, I was at HEB. And this has sea salt, black pepper, garlic, uh, rice flour, which that's not the best, but there's not much in here. Um, paprika. Sugar, there is some sugar. Um, onion, calcium, steroid, and cayenne. So there's not a crazy lot in here. If you just have a little bit of this, it's fine. Um, for how much I put on that, that was a couple teaspoons. I'm assuming that's probably when this steak's done, it's going to have like a gram of sugar on it. Which that's, that's really not a big deal in my opinion for what I found best for me. Fruit, I've stayed away from fruit com completely. I haven't touched bread, I haven't touched pasta, I haven't touched anything that goes against keto. So most days it's keto or most days it's carnivore with like a touch of keto, like a hint. Just yesterday I got vitamins. I haven't taken any vitamins since I started and just yesterday I got vitamins. So we'll see if that changes anything or if I notice anything. There is I think three grams of sugar. It's like the men's uh, twice a day vitamins. In two of the gummies, it's like three grams of sugar, four carbs. So it's, it's not that big of a deal. I mean, it's a vitamin. So, yeah. I'm going to cook this steak and uh, see how it goes. I, I appreciate London Sunshine for sending this grill. I can't say what I think of it just yet. First of all, it's good quality. I can already tell. So we'll see if I'm capable of cooking a good steak on it. So what's cool is uh, the instruction manual here. Um, has little description here.
on how to set the vents when you're cooking. So that's cool. Right now I have it kind of closed and we're sitting at camera focus. Come on. You can do it. Uh, we're sitting almost 400. It's going to be 400 any second. So here we are currently. Put a little bit of garlic butter. Artisan garlic butter I got from Walmart. So I think that steak looks pretty good. It's it's gonna end up being well done now. Um, just, I waited a little long, but it's not gonna be overcooked past well done. It's gonna be a perfect well. It's either gonna be a perfect well done or it's gonna be medium well. Um, I do eat steak medium now, so just gonna wrap it and set it in here now on top of that butter to see how it goes. Alright guys, so pork chops on here. I brought the steak out. I only had it in there for about two minutes to melt the butter and then I set it out here to rest for a second. So we're gonna cut into this steak. See how it is. I don't think it looks too bad, does it? Usually when I cook something it don't look too good. Got butter. Um Cats can wick up that part of the butter, but we're going to slice and see how I got it. It's definitely juicy. There's juice in with this butter. I don't have a serrated knife, so... Oh, yeah. It's well, at least on the end. I'm sure up here it's probably medium. But it's not bad. It's definitely well done, but it's juicy. It's not like I ruined it well done. Oh my gosh, that is really good. Let me cut up here. Oh, it's well here too. Well, I guess I'll learn. That's really good though. So juicy. Well, that's for the cat, so I'll just show you on camera here. That is a juicy well done. Too much longer and that would have been over well done. Would have been dry. I'm glad I did the uh, tin foil hold that juice so it didn't all drip in and go real dry. So... I'm eat the steak, finish this pork chop, and I'll get back to you guys. Oh, it's so nice out today. It's like 54 outside. So, steak was really good. It was well done. Some spots were medium, but it was really juicy. And that's all that really matters to me, because I didn't ruin it. So I got a handful of these pellet stove, smoke pellets. And I'm just going to... Some of those are going to go on the bottom. I'll clean this out. It's no problem. But I'm hoping that those smoke. I'm probably wrong, but we'll see. So, real quick, we're gonna set this for chicken. The pork chop cooked really well as well. I could show that it's in the fridge. Um, I'm cooking this chicken and the pork chop, so when I go to my friends, I can just take it with me and I can eat that. Okay, so we're gonna open it up. I have a little probe for the chicken, and we're just gonna throw this chicken on. This is coarse ground mustard seed. Okay guys, so that's the chicken. I threw on smoke pellets and it did smoke. So the chicken's doing good. So the grill's been good. It's worked great for the video. I appreciate London Sunshine for sending this. Um, I had to throw a few more charcoals in. It was not enough um, for the chicken to be done. It got to 150, the chicken did, internal. And then the heat started going down. So I had to, I had to add three more in. It might add lighter fluid taste to the chicken, but I have no option. So should be good. Just gonna close it and close it lightly. Hope for the best. So yeah, if you guys want to check out London Sunshine, links down below. And also, if you want to get this exact grill, uh, I think it goes for right around two twenty nine ninety nine, which I don't think that's bad. I know it's small, but it's really good quality. Like it truly is good quality. I mean, I've only used it this one time, but it's it's pretty good quality. Everything's solid. And sturdy so yeah um, I link will be down below to London Sunshine um, I think I'm pretty sure I'll have it directly to this grill but I know they have other products as well but I appreciate it and also uh, I have a discount code down below I'm not sure exactly how much it was off but I'm pretty sure it takes like 23 or 24 dollars off extra if you get this exact grill so I'm assuming it's so many percent off on you know your order 
but the code will be down below. So, I appreciate it for you guys watching. This chicken's going to be a little bit longer, and I want to edit this video, so I'm going to let the chicken cook. It's at 150 still right now, but it's starting to heat up again. But, uh, yeah. So, weight loss is going good. It's hard. Um, I haven't stopped, though, and I haven't messed up. Uh, you know, I've added some cheese, some veggies, no fruit, you know, just lemon lime juice. Um, but for the most part, everything's going good. I've lost a little, right around 33 pounds is what I've lost. So today is day 56, I believe, 56 or 57, and it's gone good. So if anyone's still along, I'm not full carnivore now. I basically am, but I'm not because I add some things, but not much. Like it's not full keto. At most, it's 10 to 15 carbs a day. Some days it's five carbs or less. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. The link for the London Sunshine Grill is down below. Thank you for setting the grill, and thanks for everyone that watched uh, to here on the weight loss. So next update will be in a month.